got the magic in me Every time I touch that track it turns into gold Welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha Mashari, and I'm so excited that you're here. And if you're brand spanking new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button because then you'll be in the know every time I upload a video. <laughs> Today we're doing a cooking with Sam edition. We're gonna make a cheeseburger pasta in 30 minutes. Ooh, 30 minutes cheeseburger pasta. And guess what we're gonna make it in? Tupperware. Pressure cooker. Mm. It's so easy to use. It's like the crock pot for your microwave. Now I'm gonna tell you why I don't like crock pots. Okay, number one, I don't like things that take eight to 10 hours to cook. That's ridiculous. Who has time for that? Now I'm not a morning person. So if I get up and I'm doing all my stuff and then it's usually like 11 o'clock before I start to even think about food and then I'm like, oh crap, I didn't put stuff in my crock pot. That means dinner won't be ready to like nine or 10 o'clock at night. That's ridiculous. If you guys feel the same way I feel, make sure you comment below and let me know. Now the second thing I don't like about crock pots is I leave the house a lot and I have to go like run errands or do whatever. And I don't like leaving things plugged in. I just, I'm so nervous that there's gonna be a fire. I mean, I just turn things off when I leave the house. It's just natural for me to do that. So this is what's great about this is because you can put it into the microwave and you don't have to worry about it blowing up or catching on fire. So let's go ahead and start with the recipe. All right, so it's so easy to do this recipe. It's basically just pouring everything in. So you unclip it like so, and you twist it. That's it, and you pour everything in. There is a max line, so don't go over it. So you put a pound of hamburger in, and don't worry about the recipe. If you don't write it down right away, I'm gonna have it down below. Um, in the description bar, so it'll be real easy for you just to look at that. So you get a pound of meat, you're gonna put a whole box of elbow noodles in, okay? And then you're gonna put beef stock, all right? And you're gonna fill it to the max line. I'm not really a big believer in following exact recipes. Um, I'm gonna put the recipe down below, but you're gonna see that like we need ketchup and I don't measure. I just put the ketchup in and then we need mustard. So we're just going to mustard. And then we need relish. I've been told by people who don't like relish and don't like ketchup that they still like this a lot. So that's what you're gonna need. Oh, we're gonna need onion. So of course we're gonna get out this awesome chopper. This thing is so cool. Oh my gosh, you just have to see it. If you haven't seen this thing work yet, watch. Because it's so easy to use. And I don't know about you, but chopping is a pain in the butt. And it's just, it's just awful. So you put in your onion, I have a whole entire onion in there, and you just pull the handle. Oops, if it ever gets stuck, you just kind of shake it because that means it just got right underneath of it. So you pull the handle. It's not hard to do. I'm gonna take this out and show you. Look at that, look at that. I mean, seriously. Seriously. So we're gonna put the onion in the pressure cooker. You take the spatula and you just mix it all up because you don't want the hamburger like just sitting in a big lump at the bottom. So this is where you just kind of mix everything up. And then we're gonna put it in the microwave. I know, this is all completely raw. And I know that people have a big hard time with that. They're like, I can't believe it's raw. But you put it in raw in the crock pot, it's the same thing. So you just put the lid on, then you line the arrows up and twist, put that down. It goes into the microwave for 30 minutes. That's it, 30 minutes. Okay, so while it's cooking, we are going to shred some cheese. Raiders are great. I wanna share with you why I don't like 
cheese from a bag, shredded cheese from a bag. It's really unhealthy for you. It's full of so many preservatives. And because they have to keep it all clumped together, they put flour in it. So if you have any kind of gluten allergies whatsoever or you have celiac disease, then you cannot or should not eat cheese from a bag. And I know this from personal experience because if I want cheese, I can't eat it from a bag. It will make me sick. So this is, this is really cool. So it's, it's easy to use and this grater is pretty amazing. You just slide this on and then there's a little lock button. You're gonna lock it into place. Once you lock it, the thing isn't going anywhere. And then you have the handle. You have two different kinds of grating that you can do, um, but this is the one that we're gonna use. You just put it in and just twist the little handle to the side and that's it. It's that simple and that easy. And then you're gonna need something to put the cheese in. There you go. So then we have our cheese, put it right top. We have our little handle. You just press down on it. You can use this to um, shred your potatoes too. You can make cheesy potatoes or hash browns. Real easy to do. and then it's good to go, so 30 minutes. Okay, so I just took it out of the microwave. It is very hot. Um, I would use like pot holders or a towel or something because it is pretty warm. Um, and I, yeah, I did change my clothes, but because I was cooking, I had to change because I'm going to a meeting right after I'm done here. So that's why I have different clothes on, but um, I want to get this up close because there's this little thing right here. And when it's up like this, that means that the pressure is all the way up and you can't open it or you should not open it, is what I should say, until it goes down. And when it falls down, that means all the pressure is down and then we can open it up and see. So as soon as the pressure falls down, I will show you what it looks like. All right, so it's down, it's safe to open. So you just pull this up and twist just like we did to open it. But when you open it, it's gonna have this big steam. Are you ready? Ooh, steam. And then you're gonna need a spoon to like mix it all up. So we mix it all up. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's not watery or soupy or anything. And it's like a pasta. Um, let's show it to you. But we have to put the cheese in. So you put all the cheese in. And then as I'm mixing and stirring, it just melts. And then it'll be all melty and creamy and cheesy. And Wonderful. You can put the top on if you want. There's enough steam that it'll melt it as well, but I'm just mixing. That's it. That's our cheeseburger pasta. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's yummy. It's super good. And you're going to love it because it only took 30 minutes. So I hope you guys love this video. And if you did, make sure you hit thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, why? Why on earth haven't you? After all of this awesome video and you haven't subscribed, so go ahead and press the subscribe button. I'll let you. It's okay. And I hope you guys have a super sparkly day. Bye! Put some mustard in. This mustard does not want to come out. Come on, mustard. That... Safety seals. Stupid safety seals.